Hello friends, uh, welcome again and this is my new project electricity billing system and I have developed this project in Java, Spring Boot, Angular and uh, MySQL database. So for server I am using the Eureka server and for authentication I am using the Spring Boot security along with the JWT tokens. Right? So these all technologies we have used for developing this project. So the angular version we are using the angular version 14 and the jdk version is 17 so if you have less jdk version then this project will not work you must have jdk version 17 and gre version 17 for running this project on spring boot tool suits so for id we have used sts uh, id for spring boot application development and visual studio code for angular development so these all things we have used for developing this project so let's start with the features and functionalities what we have developed what this project contains so there are two types of roles available in in this system there is first one is admin second one is a, a user so admin can log in and admin can perform the overall operations user will have certain rights and he will be able to perform certain operations which belongs to him only right so let's start so once you run this project you can see a uh, home page here this is a partial bootstrap theme and it's a response you partial response you're not fully responsive theme so you can see this is a home page all of the contents which are running here are static content so let me log out from here right this is about page again this is a static page there is nothing dynamic on it this is a faq faq are a dynamic and all of the data is coming from database using the api system so we have created different types of rest apis there is the spring boot and we have created a service we have created a controller we have created a uh, model right so for each service we have these three files controller services and model right so this is coming from that only so if you want to edit and update the faq then you can do it easily from the admin panel i will uh, show you later so there are two types of login here this is the user login second one is the admin login this is a registration uh, so there, there is no scope of registration i will remove this so this is a contact us form and this is a uh, you can say a dynamic form and if you fill in data here then it will be saved inside the database this is the website feedback and this is also a dynamic form and if you submit anything here it will be saved inside the database so let's log in with the admin first right so the user of uh, admin is admin at their gmail.com and password is test once you log inside the system you will see this home page you can see there are a lot of operations here so these all operations are available here also you can see these all of the operations are here also right home i already explained you have dashboard about and all. so this is the add user so that registration will not work because you took user can't register so i am going to remove that right so from here yeah, admin can add any number of users right admin can register any of customers this is the add bill from here this drop down contains the dynamic right this is a dynamic drop down so this drop down will contain all of the users which is available inside the database and the meter number billing date select month year unit consumed total bill description of the fill bills so these all things will be available here and once you click it once you create it then it will be saved inside the database using the api right so this uh, is a api driven application right so this is a form for ad bill add add will this is ad payment if any user comes to the office and uh, if any one uh, wants to pay the bill then you can select this drop down so this is also a, a dynamic drop down so all of the bills generated bill will be displayed here along with the name and total amount received you can fill here and the payment date and the description of the payment you can submit all of the things here and once you click on the submit then it will be saved inside the database this is a validated means you can't submit the blank fields right this is faq what uh, i told you earlier what i displayed you on the home page this is the faq system from with so if you want to add any faq then you can add the question here and those will questions will be displayed on the home page right so this is the administration ad form now go on the report this is the billing report you can see all of the billing reports are here so there are three options here you can delete it you can edit it and you can uh, see the details once you click on this you can see the details of bill all of the details are coming here right if you click on the edit it will be it will show in the editable format right 
and once you click on the delete and it will delete if you want to add a new just click on the add new and that billing will be created right this is a payment report all of the payment report will be displayed here again there are three buttons here if you click here so you can see payment details are above the page and this is the billing details and customer details are available here this is a user report so there is a two forms two options here edit and delete if you click on the edit you will be able to edit the details of the user there is a contact us report and there is a single option that is a delete because you can't edit the contact if user is submitting it then you can't edit it right you can only read it right or either delete it this is a feedback report and uh, this uh, uh, again this is a this is not editable you can delete it and the user can submit it from uh, home page right what i displayed you earlier right so this is all about this is a dashboard menu right so this is all about the admin panel right and there is a last option logout so you can see this is a session driven menu it has changed according to the session admin has login then it's rendering different menu options right if i log out then it will uh, display different menu options you can see it has been changed because it's running according to the session right but if i log in with the customer so username is amit and the password is test if i click on the submit you can see there's a less option because dashboard is also dynamic right it's rendering the data according to the user rules right so if admin is login admin is getting a lot of options where the user is login it's getting a less option right so you can see here this is the my bills again home i already explained to you dashboard this is a user dashboard about and this is the my bills as i told you earlier user will be able to see his bills only right so you can see this is a his bill right so there are two options even user can't delete it user can't edit it right user can see the billing details even he can make the payment for that bill if he click on it you can see this is the details of the billing right but if he wants to pay just click on this and again it's opening the payment option this is a dummy payment this there is nothing dynamic on it we are not making a type of external transactions we are this is not a real time payment gateway it's only a dummy page you can enter whatever you need right so this is this and this one and this and once you click on the make payment then you can see the payment id is generated this one and this you can see the details are available here and it will be available in the payment history also you can see this is a payment history and you can see the details here if you click on any of the payment history you will be able to see the details of the payment history right this is a my administration from where a user can update his account details right and again this is a logout once you click on the logout then all of the session will be destroyed you can see the user the ad the customer has very less options less menu options because it's a session driven the menu is rendering according to the session once i click on the logout you can see session has been destroyed right so you can see this if there is no session so these are all features we had developed inside this project and as i told you earlier this is a spring boot angular based uh, angular and the main thing is that we have implemented the eureka server including with the jwt and the spring security so these are all things we have developed inside this project but if you need any enhancement any new requirements in this project just put into the comments we will make it more better and better according to your requirements and don't forget to subscribe our channel for getting the latest project videos on the latest technologies thanks for watching the video thank you very much